Hey, how you doing everyone? This is Jonathan Coates and in today's free training, I'm going to be talking about a classic NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming Technique for sales funnels called pre-framing. Now, this is a classic technique. It allows you the chance to sort of prep someone before they land on your main page or your sales page or even if you just want to send them to a certain destination, but you want them to be in a certain mindset before they get there. That way you're able to increase and maximize your conversions and that they understand what you need them to understand first before they get there. That's a form of pre-framing and a lot of marketers what we call that pre-selling. So a lot of marketers we call that pre-selling, but it's essentially the same thing on a pre-sale page. You're going to be doing pre-framing. So by the time they get to your sales page, they have an understanding. It's a lot easier for you to convey your message and you're able to get through to your audience a lot more effectively. So what I want to talk to you about is just a couple of different techniques. I want to show you a couple of examples of some pre-sale and pre-framing pages that I've made myself. One of them for the limitless traffic formula. In the last eight years, what I've always liked to do is before I send anyone to say if it was an internet marketing related sales funnel that I was sending leads through, before I even send them to a sales page or or anything that I'm trying to sell, I would always send them through the limitless traffic formula, which is basically just a seven day free train that I created. And right now I have it on a Google Docs, but I used to have it like a five day video series, which was tied to the Google Docs. And those videos were tied to like these training pages that I would have in my sales funnel. So by the time they're done and going through that five day training page, then that would be like, if you liked that, then you're going to love this offer. And it was always something that was relevant and complemented the limitless traffic formula. So this is the limitless traffic form. It's just something I created about eight years ago and I just revamped it like three months ago, right around the time chat GPT came out. But this allows me the chance because it's so jam packed with value and it's completely free. It just allows me the chance to, after they're done going through this, recommend anything that's related to traffic generation or internet marketing or anything marketing related period. And this has always been a great way for me to pre-frame and pre-sell anything that I had going on after that. This is just an example, but another place that you can go to get pre-framing techniques is a place called Switeworthy. If you've been following my channel, you know that I talk about this website almost every video because they have just about everything that you would need as a marketer and as a salesperson, as a business person, an entrepreneur in order to create content or anything really advertising is reverse engineered marketing and copywriting inspiration. And you can just pick your niche in here. So you just scroll through whatever your niche is and then you can find what you're looking for here. So you got about pages, advertorials, affiliate emails, animation, authenticity, banner ads. So let's just say you're in the health and fitness niche. You just go ahead and choose that. And I'm just going to show you an example. Now they don't have pre-framing and pre-selling pages per se specifically. But what you can do, you can come here to find inspiration for your pre-sale page because it doesn't always have to be a page, like a pre-sale page, like a one page that they go through before they get to your sales page. It can also be some value that you have. Like I said, the limitless traffic formula was my version of like a five day free training. So you can just create like a five day, like an opt-in incentive. Your lead generation magnet can be your pre-framing. Another form of pre-framing, and I just want to share this with you real quick before I show you some examples here is having people read a review first before they go to even your opt-in page or having people going through a review before going to your sales page. Just imagine if someone read a negative review before going to your page, that would have an effect on their perception of what they're reading. And they'll already have like preconceived notions of who you are and what you're about before they even get the chance to even hear your voice or even see what you have to offer. So that's just a great example. And if you're looking for inspiration in regards to creating value and pre-framing techniques, or just anything that's related to your offer, I do recommend coming here. This website is filled to the brim with a lot of different examples. You can just choose your niche and then just choose what you're looking for, like, like the type of advertising or anything that you're looking for in this regard. Let me just go ahead and read this to you real quick. As a marketer, you've probably spent a considerable amount of time split testing your website, refining your headlines and body copy, and working on your call to action. However, there's a less known concept that can have a significant impact on your online conversion rate, pre-framing. So, Preframing is essentially just a concept borrowed from the field of neurolinguistic programming, as I was saying, which focuses on language patterns and how we communicate with others. In marketing, preframing refers to the process of shaping your customer's perception of your offer before they even see your sales message. And the reason why this is important is because it can either set your customer up to be receptive to your offer or turn them off before they even see it. If someone reads a negative review, as I was saying, of your product before visiting your website, then they're much less likely to be receptive to your offer. So some tips on how to use preframing to improve your online conversion, you can use affiliates. Affiliate traffic is an easy way to preframe your customer because the affiliates has already have built in relationships with their audience. 
So like example, we're using Udemy and solo ads. That's a great way to preframe. When the affiliate recommends your product, their audience is much more likely to be receptive to your offer. So when you go to do a solo ad, what you're doing is you're actually borrowing and associating yourself with the person who already owns that list. So that's a great way to preframe. You can use them say hey you're gonna love this guy's stuff the reason why i like it so much is because of xyz and then they go oh, okay and then they click on the link that's pre-framing using blog posts a blog post can be an effective pre-frame because it can educate your audience about your product and build trust with them before they even see your sales message using social proof social proof is a powerful pre-frame because it shows that other people have already benefited from your product testimonials case studies user reviews now there's something called negative preframing and you can actually use this to your advantage while negative preframing can be harmful to your conversion rate there are times when it can be used to your advantage if your product is more expensive than your competitors you can use negative preframing by acknowledging that your product is more expensive but also emphasizing its superior quality on the features you can use ads but you just want to make sure that they're congruent with your sales message and because if it promises a free book then your sales message should deliver on that promise so i just want to share that with you because i had the affiliate marketing samurai sort of generate this text for me that's my gpt4 ai assistance so i actually found a thread here on warrior form I, i'm going to link this in the description as well it provided some more insight for you i just want to share this with you but one person in here says I could not have said it better myself. Building a relationship by sharing excellent how-to information, usually with three very valuable presentations while being totally upfront that they are launching a product, they have sell right from the beginning. That's a great way to preframe. So giving away value that relates to what you want to sell and also starts the line of communication and trust between you and your prospect. You have seen it in any big internet marketing launch. They also pre-sell and pre-frame your mind with three free videos before the launch. And you can create the same results through email. This way, when they get to the sales page, you have already pre-sold them on the content that they know what the content would be like, how good and how you teach, et cetera. They have a good idea who you are, your, your pacing, the way you speak, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to share this with you because there's a lot of good information in here. There's a lot of people in this forum who contributed and added some good content for this. So I'll be sure to link this one in the description. I also found another article that I thought you will find useful. It's called Make the Most of Your Message with Framing. Now, this comes from the website NASP, which stands for National Association of Sales Professionals. And they talk about preframing here, reframing, and deframing. Deframing is the last resort measure. Basically, it's, it's shocking someone into your way of thinking because you have just done something that's totally in, unexpected. This strategy is not for the faint of heart. So an example is I was in a meeting that I knew was going to be tough, but as it turns out, I had underestimated just how tough I was doing just about everything I knew and still they wouldn't budge. Finally, I pulled out the old D frame. I said, you guys are probably right. Maybe you don't want to accept this new way because you really don't believe you can accomplish this goal anyway. Maybe you're hiding behind your fear and you wouldn't accept any concept because you don't believe in yourself or this company. I just want you to know what it looks like to me. Well, that did it. They were wondering what the heck I was talking about. Had I really just given up on them? Did I really think that they were afraid? Of course, since they were in such a pattern of contradicting everything I was saying and arguing, they contradicted these statements and started to argue with me, telling me why I was absolutely wrong. And they went on to prove it to me by coming up with all of these ideas on how to make the concept work. Pretty sneaky, right? So this is deframing. It's essentially the same thing of prepping your audience and shaping their perspective before moving on to the next part of the phase. So you got preframing, reframing, and deframing. And I found this to be pretty interesting. So I'm gonna link this one in the description as well. Just some more context and insight. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this quick video with you. It's a really important concept and Go through the material and the sources that I provide for you in the description here and watch this video a couple more times and do your own due diligence and research into this. But this can really double and triple your online conversions. All right. Really important concept. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, JonathanCoast.com. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the tools and the resources below. I have everything that I included in this tutorial, and I'll try to put some more stuff as well. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.